take off, take flight with you. For we never fly, but we're flying. Welcome back to Take Flight Podcast. This episode is a Take Flight Takeaway episode with myself, Daniel. So a few episodes ago, I spoke about the benefits of an American Express Gold Membership Rewards Card, and I compared and contrasted them to two British Airways American Express cards, that being the free one and the Premium Plus BA American Express credit card. And I said that I had both the Gold Membership and the free British Airways American Express. However, since recording, that's changed. And in this episode, I'm going to say why I scrapped both of those cards and went just for the British Airways American Express Premium Plus. So if you're eager to find out more, stay tuned and listen to this episode. But if you want to hear more about those cards, please do scroll through the archives, not too far back, um, to hear what I shared about those cards. So since recording the last episode, I spoke about the Membership Rewards card, how it was great for air lounge access, and then the American Express cards, good for accumulating Avios points. However, I took it upon myself to think deeply about the cards I had and what I wanted to get out from them. Given that I was at the time silver status on British Airways, I got lounge access when I was flying with BA, which more often than not, I'm flying BA, so the lounge access wasn't really required for for me or needed or a benefit for myself. And the free British Airways credit card was based on the fact I didn't want to pay for two membership fees. And I since scrapped both of those and went for the Premium Plus card. The reason being, although it comes with an annual fee of £250 at the time, which has now been increased to 300 I wanted to take advantage of the fact that when you get a companion voucher, you're able to redeem it in Club World, also known as Business Class. Whereas with the free credit card, it was only World Traveler Plus, which is essentially premium economy. So I want to take advantage of that. Also, the way you accumulate Avios points, you get more for every pound spent. So this is also a faster way to get more Avios, which isn't to be confused with tier points. Additionally, the companion voucher, which you can receive from the Premium Plus British Airways American Express credit card is valid for two years, whereas with a free credit card, it's only valid for one year. You can also accumulate Avios points through purchasing British Airways flights, as well as holidays that you may book through the BA website. And this is something that was hugely beneficial for me, especially when booking holidays with the family. One thing that I should express is with the British Airways Premium Plus credit card, you can collect Avios from a number of different merchants, probably many, many, many that you didn't know. There's actually an Avios app, which you can link to your British Airways membership club number and then book through the app and it automatically adds your Avios to your account. Things like booking.com, which I've used for many years and have missed out on thousands of points, but I'm glad I've corrected it now, but it was something that I almost wanted to kick myself for. Also car rentals is another way to do it. Even Uber Eats, Deliveroo, there are so many everyday purchases you can make that can actually give you Avios in return. So I would ex- implore you to research this. And even if, if you have a British Airways credit card, I would certainly encourage you to do this as soon as possible. Sometimes British Airways American Express also run promotions. They did that this year where if you spend a certain amount in a given time period, you get tier points. And this really was a game changer for me this year in particular, because this is what allowed me to get to gold status because I was shy of 200 tier points from reaching gold status before my anniversary date. And the fact that I was able to spend the given amount within this time frame, I was able to get gold status, which comes with more benefits than silver status. Just to give you a bit of a run through what they may be, although this isn't an episode on the different status of British Airways, gold status allows you to use the first class check-in desk whenever checking in, irrespective of what cabin you're flying in. It allows you to use the first class lounge at Terminal 5, It allows you to use the lounge upon return at Heathrow to have a shower or to use the lounge as well. You can also have some companion vouchers or plus ones when you um, reach a certain status within gold and many other things of like extra luggage allowance for everyone traveling in a group up to 30 kilograms or three bags um, per flight. So there are really some great benefits from that. And I'm really, really grateful that they had this promotion just before my anniversary date this year. So how do I find it now that I only have one credit card? So given that I've given up the gold American Express credit card, it's actually been a lot more easy to manage of having one credit card per month of all my spending. But also the fact that the American Express gold card gave you membership reward points. And the fact that I wasn't actually 
wanting to use these points for where they could be redeemed. It was more for the lounge access. That was one reason for why I decided to scrap it. Two, the membership rewards that I was accumulating at some stage, I was just going to convert them all to Avios, which is what I did in the end when I cancelled the card. So that was number two. And three, it just wasn't really beneficial for me for what I wanted to achieve long term, which was the Avios points, which I can now accumulate a lot faster with the British Airways American Express. I think, you know, yes, it's nice to have the gold plated, or well, not even plated in the UK, but the gold American Express, it comes with some sort of prestigiousness, some sort of status. But really and truly, under the hood, the cards are the same thing. They're both American Express cards. They can, they're can they both recognized as American Express cards you know, when you're spending at a merchant. So if one's refused, they're both refused. So I would strongly recommend, if you do have a British Airways credit card, I hope it's serving you well. If you have the American Express membership rewards card, specifically the gold one, I would encourage you to think about whether that's satisfying your needs and actually serving you as a purpose. Of course, the Platinum American Express card has many different benefits to the British Airways. Of course, gives you lounge access wherever you're flying from. So all in all, I gave up my gold membership rewards card as well as my free British Airways credit card to go for the British Airways Premium Plus credit card for the reasons outlined. Running through them, get Avios a lot faster, get a companion voucher that lasts for two years, get a companion voucher that I can use in business class. And it's just one card that I can use for everyday spending whilst accumulating Avios. So I hope you found that insightful. I hope you found that useful. And just one fun fact, actually, before I end, because I've been able to accumulate so many Avios, which I'm thinking about when I'm actually going to redeem it, I recently hired a rental when I was away in the US. I went through the Avios app, booked through Avis, which I'm a registered member of. I've never actually hired or rented a car with them before, but I thought, okay, let me reactivate my account. I booked through Avis. I got a small SUV is what I wanted to rent on the app. When I went to get the vehicle, they upgraded me that two tiers above because I'm an Avis preferred member, although I've never rented from them. And when I booked on BA.com, which is where through the Avios app it takes you to BA.com, you can redeem your Avios points to take some of that money off. So there are a number of options, but I took for the maximum option, which was to take £178 off using 31,000 Avios. So I just had to pay £1 for that rental, which is fantastic. So those are many, many different ways you can actually redeem your Avios outside of just flights. So I encourage you, do your research, find if it works for you. But of course, pay attention to the interest because these are cards you do not want to miss your monthly full payment on. Because if you don't, as I said in the previous episode, when I spoke about these cards, they will bite you. So until next time, stay safe. God bless. Take off, take flight with you.